Hello, my name is James Peck, and I'm the Curator of Collections here at the Rockwell Museum of Western Art. Today we'll be talking about W. Herbert Dutton's Deer Hunters Camp, which is our Autumn 2012 Curator's Pick, which is the painting you see right behind me. Herbert Dutton was born in Augusta, Maine, lived his early childhood in Rhode Island, and yet spent most of his adult life out west, which is something that a lot of people in the later part of the 19th century did. It was an exciting time to go out west. Um, as a young man, he studied art in Boston, but he also traveled west extensively to New Mexico and Mexico and Colorado. Uh, he became a cowboy, became a great outdoorsman, and he loved the west. And so as soon as he was able to, in 1912, he went to Taos, New Mexico, which at the time was a bustling artist colony. He went at the urging of Ernest Blumenschein, one of his uh, instructors in New York City. And in 1915, he moved to Taos full time and from 1915 until his death in 1936, he was a prominent member of the Taos Art Colony. He displayed paintings there and throughout the country and was uh, well known as a Western illustrator, as a very accurate uh, depictor of uh, Western life, especially cowboy scenes. So that was Herbert Dutton's um, reputation. The painting we're gonna look at today is uh, Deer Hunter's Camp. And it's a, a pretty interesting painting in that it shows Dutton uh, presumably Dunton here is the man standing uh, and one of his uh, 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 friends here and they're uh, tending to a primitive camp in New Mexico. We can tell it's uh, New Mexico because of the trees are probably cottonwoods and uh, it's in the fall the leaves have changed and what is really interesting about this to me there are a couple of things. First of all uh, Dutton who was an illustrator who could draw very accurately and very academically perfect here uh, uses sort of um, less detail in his paint application. Uh, secondly, he uses the trees as sort of a stage to set this little uh, uh, primitive scene up. And they act as a, almost as a stained glass window through which you see uh, the scene happening behind it. So he's somewhat interested in modernism. Uh, the other thing that's kind of interesting is that even though I've pretty positively identified this as Herbert Dutton and his friend, there is some ambiguity to the scene. Most of the scenes in Taos would have been of Taos Pueblo Indians or local Hispanics, and this is interesting in that uh, the skin tone is a little ambiguous. You can't quite tell if it's uh, an Anglo or a Hispanic or a Pueblo person, and so that's um, kind of interesting. Um, the other thing that's interesting here is that the uh, players here, the, the two figures that are playing out this scene, uh, sort of uh, don't have anything else to do but to play out this primitive scene. And this was something that was um, interesting to artists at the time was uh, bringing up something that was considered uh, uh, pr almost primitive, right? So it was this idea that you could get away from the city and from modernism and modernity and you could go out to Taos or you could go out west and you could um, reenact scenes of the old west. And this was of great interest not only to the artists, but also to the patrons who would buy the artwork. There was something considered almost um, uh, primeval about the West that could be a renewing force, regenerative force in American society. And so one of the reasons that Dutton and others in Taos are painting scenes of, uh, that sort of don't reference the modern world is that it was considered sort of a tonic to the soul of the stressed out modern man. Um, this painting also has a great sense of tonality. So you see the um, fall leaves are sort of autumnal. They have a lot of uh, browns and yellows and ochres and it kind of brings the entire composition together. So Dutton proves later in his life, in 1926, he's in his, in his, in his 40s, uh, that he's really becoming a full and complete painter. Not just an illustrator and not just a, someone who was um, showing scenes uh, uh, that were made for the illustrated magazines, but he was able to go outside, paint with a full palette, uh, and really make something that was convincing, that was somewhat modern in its colors, and yet uh, primitive in its love of ancient Taos. Thanks for sharing this time with me. I've really enjoyed it, and I hope you check back next time at the Rockwell Museum when we do another painting of the season.